Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sharmila Devi. I'm going to talk about flying a drone autonomously with the help of JavaScript. Consumer drones have arrived. Uh, they are really starting to make a huge impact in the market. So, what are these drones? The drones are uh, flying objects that you can programmatically control. For that, the JavaScript is uh, increasingly becoming more easier to use on a drone. And uh, there are lots of libraries that are coming up. Those libraries not only let you do the basic flying, they let you build on top of it and make some cool stuff. Let's discuss about computer vision. Computer vision is a field of uh, understanding images. It has been uh, considered the holy grail of autonomous vehicles. How about being able to mix the computer vision and the drone together? If we mix, we will get the ability to fly a drone autonomously. So that is, uh, and let's see how we are using the JavaScript here. This is my talk uh, here. Uh, first, I will walk through the library called Air Drone Autonomy. Uh, this is used to control your flight autonomously. And then I will walk through the library uh, Node OpenCV. This has the bindings of OpenCV, which is used for uh, image processing. And then I finally, I will demo uh, with some interesting stuff with my drone. This is a drone that I'm going to use, uh, which is Parrot Air Drone 2.0. Let's uh, discuss about library Air Drone Autonomy. It is an autonomous flight library. Uh, this is built on top of Node Air Drone library. This Node Air Drone library is used for uh, controlling your flight. And this uh, Air Drone Autonomy Library uses uh, extended Kalman filter that is EKF and PID controller. This extended Kalman filter is used to uh, estimate your drone's position more accurately. And this EKF is uh, using onboard tag detection to estimate <laughs> drone's position. And uh, this Air Drone Autonomy Library uh, has a built-in PID controller. This PID controller is used for uh, controlling your drone's movements. And then, and then this library also uh, let you plan and execute a mission autonomously. Uh, now we'll have a small demo using this Air Drone Autonomy Library. Let's look at the code first. Okay. I came. Okay. Here I am going to create a REPL, a read evaluate print loop out of uh, Air Drone Autonomy Library. And uh, I am assigning the autonomous controller to the REPL context. Let's try to take off the drone now. First I need to connect the drone's Wi-Fi. So I have created REPL. Now let's take off the drone. It takes off. 
let's try to move this drone up for half meter It moves up. Uh, let's try to rotate this drone uh, in clockwise direction for 45 degree. Yeah, it rotates. Uh, let's try to rotate in counterclockwise direction. Let's land it. So now uh, you come to know how to control the drone using uh, air drone autonomy library. Let us move on uh, to image processing part of things. We have OpenCV uh, which is open source computer vision library. This is written using C++ and this open, open CV uh, gives you many algorithms, uh, many computer vision algorithms prepackaged with it. So our node OpenCV is, uh, I mean, is gives, sorry, node OpenCV gives you uh, bindings of OpenCV and uh, for node environment. So you, with that, you can control many algorithms like face detection, object tracking, uh, detect shapes, etc. Now let's try to uh, connect the drone with. OpenCV, let us first discuss about the code. This PN stream is stream of images that comes from drone. This, this listener is uh, listening for images and saving the image in uh, image stream object, sorry image stream variable. I am giving this image stream as an input to OpenCV and asking it to detect object using detect object algorithm and I am asking it to find faces in the image using face underscore cascade model. After finding the faces, uh, I will uh, draw ellipse around each faces. Let us run this code and see it in browser. I'm sorry, it's an old image. <laughs> it is moving up. <laughs> uh, wait for a few seconds, it will take photo. Oh, time out. We will try one more time.
it. Sorry, some problem. <laughs> Anyone try to connect this drone's Wi-Fi? No, right? <laughs> okay, we'll try one more time and then... <laughs> No, no. Ready? Okay. It's <laughs> uh, actually it should have done like this. This one was taken in the Rega cell. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next. It should find a face and make ellipse like this. Like. Uh, next, we will try to 
uh, make little more fun. I think it's going to be very fun. <laughs> Uh, this face tracking, next we will try to uh, make face tracking. Uh, in this, we will make the drone to look for your face and orient itself towards your face. I think we can try another battery. Okay, let's discuss about the code for face tracking. This is same as like uh, what we have seen in the last demo. We are listening for image streams and we are detecting faces. And uh, we need to uh, take a biggest face among the detected faces. And we need to find the distance between center of face, I mean detected biggest face and the center of uh, the whole image. If the difference, if the y-axis difference is negative, we need to move the drone uh, in downwards. If the if it is positive, we need to move the drone in upwards. If the x-axis difference is negative, we need the we need to rotate the move in clockwise direction. If it is positive, we need to move the drone in counterclockwise direction. Let's try this. Anand? It is not coming. Moving up. Okay, I will show you a video. That is how it should work. Just moving up. Now it started to detect, I mean track his face. He is making, he is trying to make a circle.
trying to sit. The drone also comes down. Now he went totally out of the drone's camera image, so it stopped detecting. This is how it should work, but I don't know, my bad luck. <laughs> no, it did work yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday it, we uh, when we did the rehearsals, it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last week we both came here and uh, tested everything. Sorry? Yeah, I think this is not because of the lightings. Uh, maybe some problem with the drone Wi-Fi. Yeah, we don't have time for Q&A, so. Uh, uh, and I have borrowed or used these uh, libraries and images. Thank you. <laughs>